Hey everyone, this is Jake, and today we'll go through some of the patch notes that's going to be happening today after maintenance, and holy crap, it's a pretty long list, but actually it's pretty simple, so let's go through all of them quickly as possible, and I will cover as much as I can. But there's a lot of interesting stuff, so we'll go through all of it, and let's jump into the video and talk about what they are going to offer us today. So to start off with, they're going to be showcasing us episode 8. It's going to come with the act 1 to 4, so the, all the thing is coming. New Awakening, you mean Jake Walker, new SSR unit, Jaina Kropel as a shallot, and then new SSR ship Ahab as well as a Eugene rearm will be added. And as well, they will be adding some of the quality of life changes along with some of the additional update informations. But we'll go through all of them and make it short as possible. But anyways, let's go through all the unit skills and I'm not going to translate it this time because awesome guys at the Pedouin.co, they translate everything for me. <laughs> oh well, that's about that's the most evil laugh I could do. <laughs> but anyways, uh, they translate all the stuff, so I will say go and read more there, but I'll just quickly grab a screenshot from there and uh, they've been doing a lot of good translation there. I think actually it's the single person working on it, but whoever working on this side, I gotta say, it's doing God's work. And honestly, it's a lot of efforts, and I just can't say enough the ambitions they have behind it. I'm nothing compared to the site. Like, this site basically is me, but better. <laughs> I really think so. But anyways, uh, go and check this site out so when you have time, but we'll just go through the skill kits from what the, they have translated from this site. Because they summarize it pretty nicely. But those are all the skills for the, all the new units as well as the ship. I think Jade Walker will be anti-mechanics and if the Jade Walker cannot bring them the Evolve 1, I'm not sure what kind of unit they have to release to counter Evolve 1 perfectly. But we'll see how much he will do against the Evolve 1 and other normal units. When it comes to Jaina, I think she should be pretty good within PvP. Not too sure about PvE other than maybe Constitution Raid boss because her survival mechanics should help her able to withstand the damage the boss does. But other than that, yeah, I don't know too much about how good she will be. Shallow, I think for 3 cost defender, she should be pretty good and solid units to use. And for Eugene for 4 cost sniper, I think she should be pretty good as well within Gauntlet. Not just but not too sure about PBE. I think PBE wise, Sniper Shouting, the rearm version, will be still the best one to do DPS with. And the new ship, I think it should be pretty good. But as for the burst damage, it doesn't have the shred like the Destroyer or the Enterprise, so I don't think it should be able to catch up to those shits. But in general usage, especially within PvP, I think that should should be pretty pretty good as well. But that is pretty much everything about the all the upcoming units as well as the SSR ships that's getting added for this patch. 
and some of the new gauntlet system changes, getting friendly matches as well as some of the additional thing that you can expect from those kind of contents like inviting, casting, blah blah blah. They're also adding casting ban system where it picks the 300 top 300 people's votes and contribute to the ban list and it sh you are able to pick the units you want and contribute to the votes to see the result by end of the week for the next ban rotations. But we'll see how things will play out. I kind of feel like either King or Evolve 1 subs will begin permanently or even Tower Shouting. But Tower Shouting, I feel like as long as Nebun is around, it is a lot more manageable compared to King and Evolve 1. So we'll see. I think Evolve 1 definitely sh actually should be able to counter pretty well with the Jake Walker in my opinion. So only one that really leaves behind is King, because King can come out even ban 1 or 2. So that should be already pretty outrageous. But we'll see if this ban system will get abused, but <laughs> we'll see how things will turn out. And within Gauntlet Shop, they're adding new weapons once again called the Royal Series. And this has option 1 slot, has counter damage, soldier damage, or mechanic damage. And along with that, bottom sections, they have something like skill haste, they have critical hit damage, they got attack speed, stuff like that. So this should be a this should be pretty good gears for danger close in my opinion and some other contents within the game. I think it should be pretty solid weapons to go for within any DPS units. And they're also adding new content called time attack beta and this is basically going to be a challenging content Kind of do it for fun the reward isn't that crazy but this is more of the fun thing because there will be a ranking system as well there is going to be no ranking reward of course but this is basically you're able to see your ranks and show how strong you are kind of thing kind of like danger close once again and the rewards is just simple short rewards and the main rewards basically is the furniture that is going to be giving to you so this is not for the rewards it's just for the more fun side i think it's not the quality of light changes for the dorm is happening you know all these units are going to be getting some of this new interaction with some of the new furnitures for example as you can see with the band playing with the new second anniversary furniture set and some of the additional effects like the fireplace this campfire will be getting some unique mission with the Orca. I guess Orca eating her thing, which is pretty cool. And some of the units will be getting some of the interaction with each other. And it's pretty fun <laughs> little thing if you're really into dormitory. Uh, I think I'll be investing more into dorms now. And they're also changing a lot of prices and making it a lot lower than it was before. And if you bought it before, uh, they with the admin coins, like those packages, they will be refunding those coins as well. And they are making it a lot cheaper. I think it's up to like 30% to like 50%-ish price changes. So it should be pretty nice, but we'll see how things will turn out as a mean. Uh, I'm just more interested in more unique emotions and stuff. But pretty nice change that was needed and I think they're applying it now. Now they said they are making some of the more quality of life changes for make your experience with going through daily missions a lot quicker. Now they're adding skip functions to event as well as supply mission along with the side story. So you can do those daily contents a lot faster and easier by just skipping those contents and skipping those content will not require you blue books anymore, which is pretty nice. And same thing will happen with the stacking. The stacking will not cost blue books anymore. So it should be able to help you out skip a lot of contents. So even challenging content, since you are able to stack it, it should be able to make the grind a lot easier. And some of the new second anniversary login events, as well as Jay Walker events and some other events, blah blah blah. And they're also adding some of the new challenge dungeon as well. Another big change is they are adding Japanese voice to the Korean server right now. I'm not sure if they're adding every single voices. We'll see how things will happen. But when you change the language within the main menu, you should be able to change the language of the game. I don't think you can just select the certain units and certain units being Korean. That's the most ideal setup I probably want, but that's impossible in terms of game settings, I guess. So, oh well, it's either you want Japanese voice or the Korean voice. We'll see how things will turn out. And they're also adding this really nice update that I didn't expect is the streaming setting. So if you're streaming like me and sometimes you don't want to show your guild UI or something like that, you want to hide those informations. Now they are giving ways to turn this feature on and everything will be filtered out and blocked out. I think we'll see how things will look like when you turn this option on, but it is pretty nice touch. Uh, I did not expect this. I think this is actually a really, really surprising patch. That's really, really nice for me anyways. But that is pretty much it. There's not too much other things. 
So we'll go through the contents again on the top, basically the main episode 8 and all these new units along with the Jake Walker, Jaina Profile, Charlotte and Eugene along with the new SSR ship Ahab and along with all these quality of life changes and some second anniversary rewards and such. But that was a lot of contents to go through and try to make it short as possible but that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you later today within the live stream. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. もう軍인이란게언제죽을지모르는직업이겠지하지만걱정마적어도오늘은아무도안죽는날이니까왜냐내가그렇게결정했거든우리차례다스톰브링거샷샷 아직 멀었어! 자! 좀더 지져버리는데!